in this video we are going to discuss about the topic culture media from microbiology so what is this culture media it is a media which is uh, designed to grow the microorganisms and the my infected material to identify the coarsity agent so how do you classify the culture media so the culture media is being classified based on its physical state uh, based on the physical state into liquid solid and semi solid so uh, the basal media for uh, the liquid basal media is actually a nutrient broth so the nutrient broth is an example of liquid media liquid basal media nutrient broth is an example so the nutrient broth basically contains peptone water plus 1% meat extract meat extract so nutrient broth is an example of simple liquid media so what is this solid media when we add 2% agar into this nutrient broth 2% agar into this nutrient broth we will be getting what we will be getting nutrient agar so nutrient agar this is an example of simple solid media so when you uh, what is the action of this agar agar doesn't impart any nutrient quality to this media the function of this agar is that the agar will solid solidify at 42 degrees celsius so agar acts as a solidifying agent only in this media so agar doesn't impart any nutrient quality to the media it acts as a solidifying agent so when you uh, the example for a simple liquid media is a nutrient growth so when you are adding 2% agar it will act as a solidifying agent and it becomes a solid media so the, it becomes nutrient agar that is an example of solid media so when you change the concentration of this agar added into the nutrient growth that is instead of 2% if you are adding 0.2% agar it becomes a semi solid media so what is the function of the semi solid medium the semi solid media is actually used for assessing the motility of the organism so based on the physical state you are dividing the culture media into liquid solid and semi solid simple liquid media is a nutrient growth simple solid media is a nutrient agar how do you get the nutrient agar by adding 2% agar to the nutrient growth so when you sh instead of 2% agar if you are adding 0.2 to 0.4% agar to the nutrient growth you will get a semi solid media the use of semi solid media is to assess the motility of the organs so now, now the next way of classification is based on the presence of uh, nutritional factors it is being classified into uh, how many three sorry four it is being classified into the media can be a simple media it can be a complex media it can be a synthetic media or it is a special media so this is it another type of classification based on the nutritional factors so we have seen the simple media that this the simple medium example is a liquid simple media the liquid simple media as example is example is nutrient growth if we add two percent agar to this nutrient growth we will get a solid simple media what is that nutrient agar example for solid simple media is nutrient agar so nutrient growth and nutrient agar are two simple media that doesn't contain any other added constituents so if you are adding uh, other constituents to this simple media it will become complex media so all media other than this com simple media are complex the complex media is having added ingredients for bringing out certain properties or providing special nutrients required for the growth of bacteria so when you add uh, some other ingredients to facilitate the nutrition of the bacteria to promote the growth or 
to bring about certain properties of the bacteria it is known as complex media so all others other than the simple are complex now what is synthetic media the synthetic media are those media that are prepared from pure chemicals and the exact composition of the medium is known so these are being used for special studies such as metabolic requirements example as dubo dubo's medium between 18 is an example of synthetic medium between it it is an example of synthetic medium so and what are this special media we will discuss about the special media so uh, if the special media are this that is uh, enriched media is a special media enriched media is a special media selective media is at another special media and it includes differential media indicator media transport media and sugar media we will uh, learn about each of this. So what first we will learn about the enriched media. So what is this enriched media? That is um, each of this media we get uh, by adding some constituents into the simple media. So into the simple media if you are adding some other constituents the special media is formed. So enriched media is actually basal medium plus blood or serum or egg. So, when you add blood or serum or egg into the basal media, it becomes an enriched medium. So, what is the purpose of adding this blood serum or egg? So, these are our nutrients which enhance the growth of some bacteria. So, to enhance the growth of some bacteria by providing this nutrients, we create the enriched medium by adding blood serum or egg. Any of this, when any of this is added into the basal media, it becomes enriched media. This is to promote the growth of some organisms. So, what is what are the examples of this enriched medium? Examples are first one is example is blood agar. So blood agar is an enrichment medium. Blood agar is a solid medium. So what is this blood agar? When you add 5 to 10 percent sheep blood into the nutrient broth plus the nutrient broth, it becomes blood agar. So what is the use of this blood agar? This is used to this is used in routine culture protein culture especially to grow uh, streptococci species and to demonstrate the hemolysis we use this media that is one example of enriched media another example for enriched media is the chocolate agar so the chocolate agar is actually heated blood agar heated blood agar is 55 degrees celsius in for two hours so this chocolate agar is used for the culture of which all orga organisms that you should know it is used for the culture of nisaria and h influenza and h influenza so blood agar and chocolate agar these are uh, examples of enriched medium so can you say another example of enriched media that is low flow uh, low flow serum slope it contains glucose and host serum added to the nutrient agar when you add glucose and host serum into the nutrient agar it becomes low flow serum slope this is specifically for which organism you use this for the culture of foreign bacteria and diphtheria are examples of enriched media that is these are all solid media can you say another liquid media which is enriched that is glucose growth glucose growth is an example of enriched media it consists of 0.5 percent glucose added to nutrient growth we know that nutrient growth is an example of simple liquid media basal media when you add 0.5 percent glucose into that nutrient growth it becomes glucose growth in plus nutrient growth 
so what is the use of this glucose bow it is uh, we know that the, for blood culture we are using this glucose bow we draw the blood and put this into the glucose bow and we have seen the enriched media these are all examples of enriched media so what is this enrichment media so uh, enrichment media actually uh, contains some substances which are added into the simple media uh, such that these substances will promote the growth of one organism and inhibit the growth of all other organisms so this will selectively promote the growth of one organism and inhibit the growth of all others so this is specifically these are all liquid media so these are liquid media you should know one thing that enrichment media are liquid media which contains inhibitors which inhibits the growth of all other organisms and promote the growth of one organism so uh, this is specifically used in uh, stool culture stool culture you want to inhibit the growth of common cell bacteria and to promote the growth of the pathogenic organism so that you will get a positive result with the pathogenic organism so for stool culture you should do it, use an enrichment so for example if you are doing a stool culture and you are expecting the growth of some uh, shigella or salmonella you should prevent the growth of coliforms by using some inhibitors so such a media which contains inhibitors and prevent the growth of common cells and promote the growth of pathogenic organism that are called enrichment media so examples of enrichment media are first one tetrathionate growth so tetrathionate growth remember that enrichment media are liquid media so this is tetrathionate growth this contains nutrient growth with added tetrathionate that is with sodium thiosulfate, calcium carbonate and iodine solution. The tetrathionate which is added into this will promote the growth which inhibits the growth of polyforms while it allows the typhoid and paratyphoid bacilli to grow. So this is a, an enrichment media is for the growth for culturing which organisms especially for salmonella so when you want to culture the stool to look for the growth of salmonella you should use tetrathionate growth because it selectively promotes the growth of salmonella and inhibits the growth of coliforms so another media is selenite f growth selenite f growth that is it another enrichment media which selectively promotes the growth of salmonella and shigella so salmonella and shigella so this actually contains peptone water plus sodium selenate sodium selenate inhibits the coliforms and promotes the growth of salmonella and shigella so that is it another one so next one is alkaline peptone water so this is peptone water with pH that is 9 pH is 9 so when this pH is 9 it selectively promotes the growth of Vibrio so this is an enrichment media for Vibrio so remember that enrichment media are used for stool culture where you want to inhibit the coliform growth and selectively promote the growth of this organism pathogenic organism so if you want the growth of salmonella use this tetrathionate growth so if you want salmonella and shigella you use selenite f growth so if you are if you need a vibrio cholera you should use alkaline peptone water so that is about enrichment media so what is this selective media selective media is basically having the same property that is like the enrichment media that is this selective media also contains inhibitors which inhibits other organisms and promotes the growth of pathogenic organism which you would expect in culture so basically difference between enrichment and selective is that both are the same but selective is solid media enrichment is liquid media so this is this is solid media which contains inhibitors inhibiting the growth of other organisms and which promotes the growth of uh, the pathogenic organism in Greece. So, these all are so all these are solid media. So examples are BCA media. This is deoxycholate citrate agar. 
सो डिओक्सिकोनेट सिट्रेट अगर कंटेन्स सोडियम डिओक्सिकोनेट सोडियम सिट्रेट लैक्टोस न्यूट्रल रेड एडेड टू द न्यूट्रिएंट अगर सो द सोडियम डिओक्सिकोनेट व्हाट इट डू इट प्रमोट्स द ग्रोथ ऑफ सैलमोनेला एंड शाइजरला एंड इनहिबिट्स द ग्रोथ ऑफ अदर कोलिफोन्स सो दिस इज सिलेक्टिव फॉर दिस इज अ सॉलिड मीडिया व्हिच इज सिलेक्टिव फॉर सैलमोनेला एंड शाइजरला and shajala another example is bile salt agar bile salt agar contains nutrient agar and sodium chloroquinate it contains bile salt which inhibits the growth of other organisms and promote the growth of vibrio cholerae so it is used for vibrio cholerae so another example is lonson jensen medium that is lg medium which is used for Mycobacterium and tuberculosis. It contains malachite green, which inhibits other organisms, promote the growth of MTB. So these are all selective media. So what is this differential media? The differential media has components which helps in differentiating uh, the properties of certain bacteria. For example, an example of differential media is. An example is Mekongis agar. Mekongis. So the Mekongis agar contains peptone, lactose agar, sodium chloroquinate, and neutral red. So the lactose is present. So the lactose fermenters will form pink colored colonies. And non lactose fermenters form pale colonies or colorless colonies. So pink color colonies are formed by lactose fermenters so this media helps to distinguish the lactose fermenters from the non lactose fermenters so this is basically used for the culture of gram negative bacilli so this contains lactose and the lactose fermenters in the presence of this neutral red will produce pink color colonies so it helps to differentiate the lactose fermenters and non lactose fermenters so this media is an example of differential media and what is this indicator media so we'll discuss about the indicator media this indicator media consists of some indicators which changes color when the bacterium grows in them so indicator media is having some uh, indicators which changes color with the growth of bacteria example for indicator media is so we'll discuss we'll discuss about the indicator media indicator media consists of a, an indicator which changes color with the growth of microorganism so example for indicator media is wilson and blair medium this contains sulfate and this produce black colonies when salmonella typhi grows on them with the growth of salmonella typhi this medium produces black colonies another example is mekongi itself mekongi is a differentiating medium which helps to differentiate the lactose fermenters and non lactose fermenters but it is also an example for indicator medium mekongi agar so because the lactose fermenters are are causing fermentation of lactose as a result of fermentation of lactose there is an acidic ph so this acidic ph in the presence of a neutral red because of the presence of neutral red which produce pink colonies so here also there is a change in color so this is an indicator media which changes color with the growth of one organism mekongi agar shows pink colored colonies with the growth of lactose fermenters and with the growth of salmonella typhi wilson and blair produce black colony so these two are example for indicator media which changes color with the growth of organism now another one which we are discussing is a transport media so what is this transport media it is basically used for delicate organism 
which may not survive the time taken for transfers or may be overgrown by non pathogenic bacteria. So, for transport of specimens to the laboratory, special media are devised, and these are trained transport media. These are used to transport delicate organisms to the laboratory. An example of transport media is Stroud's media. Tran Stroud's transport media it is non nutrient. Soft agar gel containing a reducing agent to prevent oxidation and it contains charcoal to neutralize the bacterial inhibitors. So, Stoddard's medium is used for which organism? Gonococci. This is important. For Stoddard's medium, uh, it is used for Gonococci. And buffered glycerol for enteric balsam, here is in buffered glycerol saline. This is used for which one? For enteric bacilli. And that another media is the sugar media. You should know something about the sugar media too. Sugar media helps in identification of bacteria. So it denotes any fermentable substance that is glucose, lactose, sucrose, and mantle. These are routinely being employed for fermentation tests. Actually, sugar media is containing 1% sugar in peptone water along with an indicator plus an indicator. So a small tube called the Hams tube is inverted in the larger sugar tube to detect the gas production. So a colorless medium turns pink with the production of acid by bacteria and gas production is indicated by gas bubbles accumulated in the Hams tubes. So that is the uh, use of sugar media it is basically helping in identifying the fermentation reaction now another media which you have to know is the anaerobic media so anaerobic media these are used for the cultivation of anaerobic bacteria we will discuss about it later so you should just know the anaerobic media example is cooked meat broth so cooked meat broth this is one media for growing anaerobic organisms. Another one that is thioglycolate growth. So uh, these are the media which are used for growing anaerobic organisms. So that is all about the culture media. Thank you for watching this video. To see more videos on my channel, please subscribe the channel.